Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this morning I've made it out on a very frosty morning to uh, the River Chelmer at Paper Mill Lock here. Um, absolutely stunning location. I visited here um, and done a vlog. I think it was my second vlog actually uh, back at the actual weir at Paper Mill Lock. But um, today I've made use of the really freezing conditions to have a little walk along the side of the banks of the river here heading towards uh, Ho Lock because we've got the lovely rising sun and coming early what I've been able to do is get a little bit of that mist on the actual uh, top of the river here so working out really interesting. I've already got a composition set up so that's really good so far but hopefully working my way along the river as the sun is rising in about sort of uh, 20 minutes or so hopefully working out to be a really good sunrise this morning so let's come along for the journey. So for the first composition that I've got set up here, keeping the camera in portrait orientation, looking right down the river here, um, working out to be a really interesting composition, using a bit of a reach on the lens of the 18 to 135 lens, because what I'm able to do is pick out some of the trees that are here that are turning those lovely sort of oranges at autumn. So. Also what I've been able to do is again use the reach of the lens and as the light source is coming through highlighting some of that mist that's creating on the top of the river as well. So working out to be a really lovely still crisp beginning of winter morning today is definitely what it is. So the settings that I've got for the camera is f7.1 ISO 100 and I'm taking a one second exposure for the foreground and as I've just got a little bit of the sky creeping into the image I'm taking that at 1 15th of a second just to balance out that exposure. If I was to bracket, I don't think it's gonna give me that wide enough dynamic range. So doing that sort of two shot manual bracket, hopefully working out to be really interesting. But yeah, just a short walk from where I parked up this morning. Um, yeah, lovely conditions so far today. So hopefully working out to be a really interesting shoot. So for the next composition, what I've got set up here is the camera on its full extension, full height, because what I need is that height to actually get over the bank of the river here and angle it slightly down. So I've got one of the trees, or two of the trees, sorry, in the distance there with lovely reflections in the absolute glass-like uh, water that we've got here this morning. Um, absolutely stunning this is. Little bit of mist as well in there as well lovely elements but keeping the camera in a portrait orientation because 
taking it in the landscape orientation, I don't think you're going to get that sort of depth or that, that, that feeling of the actual image that I wanted to create. So keeping it in a portrait orientation, that's going to give that perspective a little bit better. So framing and finally adjusting the zoom in and out uh, using obviously the reach of the lens. I've got some of the reeds that are here anchoring the base of the image. Then obviously the reflections in the water leading up to the mist and then obviously the trees as well. So working out to be a really interesting image. So again I've got the camera set up on um, f7.1, ISO 100 and approximately 125th of a second is my base image. Um, I'm not looking to bracket the image, um, I don't necessarily feel that I want to have that sort of uh, information because I don't necessarily want to pull out any details in the shadows or the highlights. I feel that I'm able to sort of manipulate that one back in post-processing because uh, it's, it is about that sort of uh, darker scene, it is sort of just before sunrise even though it's just sort of popping up above the horizon now which is fantastic and I'll grab that image in a moment but uh, yeah it's working out to be a really interesting composition this one and, and, and one of the ones that I was sort of wanted to capture from this trip this morning so well worth getting up super early coming out freezing cold and de-icing the car first thing in the morning is uh, yeah telltale sign that uh, things are going to get very very cold from now on in but uh, uh, well well worth it So for the next composition I've walked a couple of miles further down the uh, path here on the riverbank to one of these locks that's along the River Chelma here. Um, absolutely fantastic. But with this composition what I had to do is wait about sort of a good 20 minutes or so for the sun to rise that little bit higher to illuminate more of the foreground. So I've been snapping away like happy here, taking an image of the lock in a landscape orientation at f7.1 ISO 100 and approximately 1 50th of a second as the base image and bracketing one and a half stops either side. I've then also gone for a full sweet pano shot as well of about sort of six images. Um, again obviously base image of f7.1 ISO 100 and uh, 1 50th of a second as the base image and again bracketing one and a half stops either side. Um, yeah really stunning. I've also then uh, zoomed right in, a bit of a tighter crop on the actual uh, lock gates themselves, slightly as that is a bit more in shadow, got a little bit more of a longer shutter speed so obviously can blur some of the water uh, that's obviously coming over the top. I did consider being very risky and trying to sort of negotiate myself, get shimmying across the top of the lock gate uh, to get to the other side as there is a weir on the other side that so hopefully would have worked out to be a really interesting competition. However, it is very, very slippy and definitely would have uh, ended up falling in, which is being on your own in the middle of literally nowhere is not necessarily the greatest thing to do because, uh, yeah, you just don't want to take those unnecessary risks. And I think, to be fair, this is working out a really good composition and I'm pleased that I've been able to capture this one. Also, while I've waited that sort of 20 minutes or so, as the sun's obviously risen, taking a little short stroll down, down the river as well, taking a couple of handheld snaps, cross into the open fields as well, where we're getting lovely side light from obviously the rising sun on some of the uh, oak trees in, in the fields, etc. working out to be really interesting. 
Uh, again, obviously making sure that I made use of that 20 minutes and had a good cup of coffee as well because that's, uh, that really warms you up on these type of days as well. It's, it's hot enough walking along the river path as it is very boggy, uh, very slippy. But uh, yeah, once you actually get here and you stop walking, you cool down very quickly. So it's making sure that you've got the layers there to obviously uh, keep yourself warm and make sure that you're not going to suffer too much from the cold weather. It gets, uh, once you get the cold set in, it's very hard to warm yourself back up again. So yeah, just that little bit of preparation is the key for this one. But yeah, this, this is actually turning into being an ever-increasing good scene now because obviously we're getting the light coming further around I'm able to actually get the uh, mist that's created on the lock gate so hopefully maybe one other composition here as well so working out to be really interesting. So it's worked out to be a fantastic shoot this morning. Well worth the effort to get up in the freezing conditions that I had first thing this morning and make the effort out to this location. Um, the weather conditions are better than it actually was forecast, which is um, a massive plus. I've got a lovely sunrise, had the lovely mist on the actual uh, river here as well, which is exactly what I really wanted. And multiple compositions, just taking that lovely sort of dawn walk along the site banks of the river of Chelma. Um, absolutely fantastic and it's locations like this that are not necessarily typical around this area but when where they are and when they are it's obviously fantastic to capture it in this lovely golden light that you get in the mornings so yeah putting in that effort really sort of pays off dividends so hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog and enjoyed the compositions that I've been able to capture this morning if you have please make sure you leave us a comment and also give the video a thumbs up as well and if you haven't considered it already Already, please consider subscribing and quickly on that point thank you so much to everyone that's recently subscribed to my channel really love the support that I'm getting so thank you ever so much for it hopefully over the next couple of weeks as well I'm going to get some interesting locations that I haven't been to before and meeting up with some other vloggers as well so hopefully we'll work out really interesting but keep posted on that make sure you hit that that uh, bell notifications each time I upload a video but thanks a lot for watching and until next time take care <laughs>